why I chose Intel over AMD. So the reason why I ended up choosing Intel over AMD was came down to software related issues. Um, it wasn't because I, I like Intel over AMD. I was fortunate enough uh, about eight months ago or so to build a buddy of mine, um, an AMD system and ran through a bunch of film, did, did a bunch of benchmarks and stuff. Unfortunately, files got corrupted and he moved out of state so I couldn't actually redo anything. So that video went to the wayside. So I'm not gonna be able to do any comparisons as far as Intel versus AMD. This will be a, basically my old system and what will be whatever I, what I chose for the Intel. So my old system is an Intel i7 5820K, X99 motherboard, uh, 32 gig of RAM, and an RTX 2070 EVGA video card, and the new system that I ended up choosing turned out to be the uh, 10th Gen i9 10900K, an ASRock motherboard, five, uh, and 32 gig of RAM. Uh, so the RAM difference speed-wise was, was 2800 in my old system, and the new system will have uh, 3600 DDR4. So what it really came down to initially was software, and the reason why I say that is I was really amped for a third, uh, 12 core for AMD because Intel was only giving me a 10, and I really wanted more cores. And due to that, uh, I started looking at what what I use my system more on. So with that, I don't bl I don't use Blender enough to constitute uh, purchasing AMD for that. Uh, although Intel is going to be good with with Blender too, but that wasn't that wasn't my issue. It was the issue came down to my audio software that I use. I have a subscription with Pro Tools, and prior to the 10th gen coming out, I started researching a lot, um, wanting to go to AMD. And it came down to that Pro Tools only looks at Intel, at least as far as the developers page was. Now the forums, people have used Pro Tools with, uh, with AMD processors. And it came down to what kind of headaches do I want to deal with down the road? Any updates that it may not actually work properly? Well, there might be hiccups or um, driver issues and whatnot. At that point, I was like, ah, I'm not going to, since it's not being tested by them, I'm going to have to shy away from it. But it wasn't a full-on conclusion until I watched um, a video by somebody who I kind of watch when I do Blender stuff to kind of get some ideas of how I can model things inside of uh, Blender. And that was CG Geek, where he actually uh, did do Blender with the Intel 10900K and his Threadripper. And it's not that there was... That's completely different than the AMD one that I was looking at. But it was enough for me to realize, you know what, uh, because of his the outputs that he got for his, uh, his benchmarks really told me, you know what, I can get away with doing the Intel and still, not that I had any doubt that I'd have any issues with Blender, but in comparison to my last video where uh, my old system took a week, 24 hours a day, to render out the four minutes worth of uh, video or three minutes and something, whatever it was, um, took a week, 24 hours a day. And so I didn't touch my computer for a week because I didn't want to screw something up. So with that being said, I ultimately came down with the 10900K and I'm gonna, I ran benchmarks using the BMW at 1080p, 1440p. Um, I ran Classroom, so those are the three uh, blender ones. Then I ran Cinebench R20, um, multi and single core, and then I also ran 3D Mark. And so I will show you the graphs that I got on that, and throw some of the video in there. And uh, if you have, if you got any comments uh, and you have ideas of how to do audio, because I did look into the audio side of things, maybe throw that into it. And I realized that um, maybe I don't have all the stuff that I need to do that, and uh, if you've got comment or a, a way of telling me how to do it or point me in the right direction, bonus, I'd, I'd, I'd be uh, happy to uh, go in and maybe do some benchmarks. 
tear down my system, put my old one together, and and do the differences between those two. But as far as the gaming side goes, and uh, what I normally would do with with uh, Blender and stuff, uh, I'll run that stuff and, and show you the differences. Granted, I know you can get that from a lot of the other tech tubers, um, but definitely if you're gonna if you're looking at which one, you, I would suggest just looking into what your system you really want, how much money you want to spend to, because really I think I spent about four hundred dollars more than what I really wanted to, but yeah, it, it all came down to longevity and upgradability for the future too so not that amd is an issue there um, maybe down the road i will build an amd system and for myself and maybe do it for a streaming system or something who knows we'll see um but let me show you what i got here and i will see you at the end of the video all right So higher is better here. The new PC benchmarked at a 9132 overall, while my old PC was 8029, about a 12% slower difference. Uh, the difference in CPU score was much better with the 14210 on the 10900K versus the 5820K at 5785. The Blender benchmarks for the BMW at 1080p took 5 minutes 49 seconds for the old CPU versus 2 minutes and 8 seconds for the new CPU. For the 1440p, the old CPU took 9 minutes and 41 seconds versus 3 minutes and 43 seconds on the newer. And finally, the classroom test took 15 minutes and 5 seconds on the older system versus 5 minutes and 41 seconds on the newer system. The overall average was 36.76% across all three tests. So for Cinebench R20 multi-core testing, the 5820K scored 2388, while the 10900K scored 6288, which is 2.63 times faster. I should have timed how long each test took. Now on the single core testing, the 5820K scored a 303, and the 10900K scored a 505, which is about one and a half times faster. Well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you made it this far and you enjoyed what you've seen. I uh, hope it helps you out too because I know that uh, when I actually was looking into this stuff, I've been building computers for a while and uh, granted, not professionally or anything like that, but I have built a lot of knowledge over the time. So I've, now that we have the wonderful uh, YouTube and we can sit there and, and get a lot of insight from other tech tubers that can actually uh, help you out in, in your search for what you're looking for. Now, Mind you, cost is everything. So, uh, if you're on a budget, go for your what what's within your budget. Uh, check out the videos. Uh, watch Linus Tech Tips, Paul's Hardware, uh, Bitwit, Jay's Two Cents, Gamers Nexus. Um, those are usually the ones I watch. So, uh, I check them out. They do a lot of lot of reviews. So, 
Um, well, if you liked the video, please subscribe, um, hit the thumbs up, and we'll see you in another video. I have a couple things in works. Uh, one of them, of course, will be Blender, and it's going to take a while. So uh, if you got any comments, please give me some comments, give me some feedback. All right, thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.